So again, let's look at list view here. <coughs> and we seeing that list view, we can use the observer list to create items on list view. And we can select multiple items on the list view. <coughs> or we can add the items into the list one by one through the observer list to create items on the list view. And selection mode set to multiple. So this is an application that we create a list view to pick up the country and return the flags of each country on the flow pane. So an array of flag titles and array of image views. Uh, created and we create list field and construct a list from the array of flag titles to array. That's another way to create list field. Use the observable list, observable array list, which is the method of the effect collections. Just convert the array into observable list and construct a list in the list view. Set selection mode to multiple. And then this just create a flow pane. And border pane set flow pane. Width is the list view, list view to the left on the border plane and flow pane which is image pane. Right to the center of the border pane. And the list view is pretty much inside the scroll pane which is can be scrolled like that so this way is constructed now when I click it's going to select an item property at listener so on the list view we want to add the listeners to each items right so get selection models get the model which is the list model model is pretty much just left in the whole list here and then when they add the selected get selected I mean selected item property dot add listener to each property. So when I click it add the listeners. So it did the action right so <coughs> OV right observable right handle values here observable values so with the lambda which is action listener handle when I click it handle to clear Whenever I click, it's clear the old one. You see, it's clear, so it's clear. To get you, the image pane gets you in the clear. Click again, it's clear the old one, and then display the new one by adding the image view at the index that I selected. I right because I pretty much just get selection model dot get selected indices. So that's the I index. Like since it's looping because I can do more than one, like multiple of them can be displayed, right? Clear first and update, right? So multiple of the flags can be displayed, right? That right? So this is an action listen to the selected item because we add listen to each item and clear the pin image pane and then isolate through all the selected items list view get selection model get selected indices each of the selected indices is i and then add the image view for each into the image pane okay so that's how it works and this is just show the frame and we talk about scroll bar so let's review so scroll bar is a control that enables the user to select from a range of values, right? And we look at the application that we can move the text, right, up and down. So from the scroll bar demo. So let's look at the code here. So <clears throat> we have this text name JavaFX Programming. And we create two scroll bar horizontal and vertical. I 
have to set one to vertical by default it's horizontal and we could uh, pane and add the text to the pane right pane for text and border pane so we set the pane for text to center bottom is horizontal and right is vertical scroll bar so <clears throat> when we run this application you see that we have text and scroll bar right there now we want to add a listeners to the scroll bar vertically and horizontally we add the listeners and it's going to be observable values handle when we change the value on scroll bar you may see it's handle this is the horizontal set the x location of the text just change i just move the text location pretty much <clears throat> where I get the current value of my horizontal right and get the width of the text because that's the size of the text so multiply with the column values right and divide by proportion of the max so then you know where the location should fit the text to okay same as the vertical and then we show the frame as you see here we can move the text <coughs> so that's the scope our demo slider slider should be the same just like scroll bar okay so we're going to look at sliders same like it's block increment just the look is just a slider instead of scroll bar All right so it has max and mean orientation like vertically horizontally major tweak unit minor tweak unit show tweak levels you want to show the levels show tweak marks like that All right we have major those are major 0 25 50 we can create the minor units too and when we do constructor, we can set min and max and the values when we create the slider. So let's look at this code. All right, so we can do the same with the JavaFX programming. But instead of use the scroll bar, we gonna use the horizontal. All right. So <clears throat> let's compare. Like I said the code is pretty much it's just like a scroll bar instead of scroll bar we just change it to slider so let me just replace wherever it says scroll bar right so i'm going to find and replace with the slider replace all now we get a slider and let's run the program and see this is the same. It's exactly the same. See that? Like I said, it's exactly the same. It's just a look and feel that's different. Now it's become a slider. And now you can set the the difference. You can set the mark to show trick level to show trick marks. So let's do that. So we have the slider SB horizontal dot we can set show tweak levels to true right same as the vertical set show tweak marks I'm gonna set each of them to true then you see what's the tweak marks and tweak levels different one is for horizontal so that trick marks this is trick levels right <coughs> so that's sliders and you can show both of them and you can set the values So let's see if we want to set the values. Let's take the 
vertical one. Set the value to 100. So now let's see what we get. Before we didn't see any values, which we didn't show the values. We should not see. So what happens if I do 1,000? And we go set to show the tick levels. Set vertical. So this is 100. <coughs> so since we create a max size, let me set the max size, 20, 20, slider, vertical. So we have major trick units, major trick count, max slider. We can do min and max. So let's do this one. Min. <coughs> we can do negative 100 and max 100. Okay, and the values. See, we set the value, we set it to 0 0.20 and negative max and plus 100, right? Max and min, right? So if I change the values to 10, so it should default to point to 10 right there. So that's the set values. That's why we have the set values here. So if I do, let's say vertical, create max and min again. Min and max and set the values. Now, it's going to look like that, right? And if I set the vertical, SB vertical dot set values to minus 500. It should move that location to, to set to minus 500 right there instead of zero. So that's for the set values. <clears throat> like to the default. So that's the difference between values and min max. And that's how it works, right? So it's the same action listener, everything else is the same. Just like the scroll bar. This is an application to show you by moving the balls. <coughs> same, just set the max to 20. That's just max off moving to 20 pixels. And now let's look at this code a little bit. So this create a ball by calling the ball pin. And slider call slider speed. So this is just try to increasing the speed. So this slider just adjusts the speed of the ball. So ball pin dot rate property. So ball pin by the value property. So this is how since this is different than this application, this is just moving location. We just